Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and I'm about to tell you what I think is the most important thing to know about Godot. <laughs> yeah, that rhymes. Wait, <laughs> that rhymes too. Wow, I'm a poet, and I didn't even think I was. If you are brand new to Godot, I think this will be very helpful to you. If you're a master, you've been using Godot for just a little while, you may already know this. However, I've been using Godot for about a year now, and I didn't fully understand this till a few weeks ago when I did my first game jam ever. If you want to watch a video about that, you can. I'll have a link to it in the end screen. So here it is. My biggest tip to you, give everything its own scene. Now, don't click away. Give me a few seconds to explain why I think this is the most important tip for Godot. In lots of tutorials online, it seems this is glossed over. I mean, it's not emphasized enough. Now, maybe I'm just a noob. Okay, I am a noob, but I watch a lot of tutorials, and in most of those tutorials, they put the player in the scene, and then they add enemies in the same scene, and then they add other things into the same scene, and I always just assumed that scenes were basically levels, and then you add stuff until you felt like you had a good level. Instead, if you give every single asset its own scene, it makes structuring levels so much easier. Now when I say everything gets its own scene, I mean everything. Like take this little scene I have here. See the cowboy fire guy that I'm controlling? He has his own scene. That fireball in his hand? Got its own scene. That tiki torch? Scene. The cloud and the rain? Scene. Scene. Even the little points in the cloud that spawn rain have their own scenes. See? Okay, not much to look at here, but I think you get the point. Also. Maybe using rigid bodies for raindrops is not the best idea I've ever had. The reason you want to do this is because if you have any assets that will span throughout many levels, this makes it super easy to edit them later. All you have to do is go to the scene of the asset you want to edit, change whatever you need to change, and all the assets throughout your whole game will match your changes, because they will be just instances of the asset scene. And all you have to do to instance a scene into another scene is by right clicking on the node you want it to be a child of click on instance child scene, then selecting the scene you want to instance. And if you want to instance something dynamically through code, just preload the desired scene into a variable like this. You can pause the video here. Then at the point in your code that you want to make a new instance, create a variable and assign it an instance of the scene. Then make that variable a child of whatever you want. In this case, it's the child of the raindrop spawner. Then from that point, you can do whatever you want to it, like reassigning its location or, you know, whatever you want. Structuring your game this way will make life so much better and it will make you happy inside. Man, this could make a cool snowplow minigame or something. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this will be helpful to you. If you haven't been doing it this way, give it a try. It will really, you know, really help you out. It's definitely changed the way that I work on games in my own uh, games, but... Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, see you next time. Have a beautiful day.